Time switch. What we're going to be looking at then in this video is a very much sought after time switch by myself. I've been looking for one of these for absolute years, almost a, uh, a couple of decades. And when this one had come up for sale, I was absolutely determined to make it mine. This one is also a rate changer, which is why. I, uh, this was very sought after because uh, although this can couple up with most other dual rate electricity meters, this one is best coupled up to a Sangamo Western S309.2. We'll uh, zoom in on that now and what we're going to be looking at is Sangamo Western S317.1.2. Two, two. There it is then. Being a synchro powered time switch, it uses a spring reserve as well. I'm not sure how long the spring reserve runs for. So I might have to do another video on that. But we shall zoom in a bit further now on the specification plate so that we can view the characteristics for this one. There it is then. As you can see the switching capacity for this is 80 amps. The contact for the rate change trigger is 2 amp, which is fairly standard. This instrument was X Electric board stock, and it says on that Southeast Electricity Board or SEEB, made by Sangamo Western Limited, Enfield, Middlesex, and England. I'm just trying to adjust this, the focus a bit there, uh, the, the angle of the camera, and then we should get back into it. I'm trying to get in on the... Oh dear, the focus went right out then for some unknown reason. I'm just trying to turn it around so we can see the number on it. There it is. So it has to be documented in the video. And we are looking at 158964. That's just a serial number for this particular time switch. The model number, as I've already quoted, is right there. S317.1.22. Time switch spring reserve. This one, it has a bit of an unusual operation. You can see on the clock face there, there are three togs. I would believe, if I can just pull that camera back a bit, I think there's three togs in there. Or is it two? Ah, oh, yes, there we go. There's two where I was, was zoomed in, and there's one right up the top there. Just there. That one will be the off tog, and I'm pretty sure you can see the word off embossed into that, if I zoom in a bit further. Right, we're right into the digital zoom now then, and you can see on that it says off embossed into that tog. And the off time it has been set for is just after 8am in the morning. Down there then we've got two togs, but as you can see, both of them say on embossed into them. This clock face only has three togs on it. Now, normally speaking, these things come in pairs. So, is one missing? No, it's not. 
there is not a tog missing on this time switch. This one has a bit of a funny operation to it. Most time switches and rate changes they turn on and they turn off. That is not so with the Sangamo Western S317.1.22. The way this one operates is that first TOG, it operates the off-peak tariff. So that one pulls the time switch and it triggers the cheap rate electricity. The next TOG that comes around, that pulls and then it operates the main 80 amp contact and anything which would be associated with off-peak electricity, like storage heaters or the motion heater, they would then power up. And then, around about 8 o'clock in the morning, that other tog comes around and switches everything off. Just above there, in that little window there, is a power indicator. It's orange coloured there, and when that's on, it rotates in a clockwise direction, I believe. I'm not sure if that's indicative of anything, but it says on there C73. So I'm not sure if that would be 1973. I'm unsure. There is a little label stuck in there, and it says on it, if I can get the zoom to adjust, I think it's tested 88 in there. Let me just pick the camera up. Come on, focus. Oh, it's tested 86. So there we go, it's 1986 then this was last looked at by Southeastern Electric Board. So there we are. There's a little label in there. I can just uh, get down in there a bit. Just in there. I'm not sure if that says anything on it. So there is a little label in there, but I can't figure out what it says on it. It might be uh, a year on it or something. I think the reason why the camera can't focus on it is because there's a, cut, a shadow cast on it. Let me just move the camera out of the way and I'll have a look with my own eyes. Okay, so I think I can see a number 38 on it, but it's, that's not 1938. This is a time switch, is not that old. My goodness me, but it's in there. There's a little sticky label in there. It's just a shame I couldn't get the camera in there, and this camera is generally very good with the zoom. So, a bit of an unusual operation that it turns on the off-peak tariff, then the load, and then in the morning it then switches off. From what I can remember when I received this one, even though it is X electric board stock, it didn't have any, any anti tamper seals on it. Okay, so there's none on none on there and none on the bottom one. Which is a bit of a shame really, because it would have been nice to have received that with the original anti tamper seals on it, and then I'd know that no one's gone in there and had a little play about with it. I don't think the previous owner did because that time switch is still set onto uh, the hours what would be associated with Economy 7 off-peak. And another thing I'd like to point out as well, when I received this one, I had to open it and make adjustments in there because it wasn't operating the main 80 amp contact that well. Uh, yeah, so I had to, there's a little adjuster screw inside there for the contact separation gap and it had to be tweaked up ever so slightly so that when it turned on it would actually close the contacts. I think it was either close the contacts or open them, it was one of the two and it wasn't performing that operation properly. 
So I had to adjust it a little bit either way to uh, get it to perform its operation as intended. Now, this time switch, when Sangamo Western manufactured this, they then, a little bit later on, started manufacturing quartz equivalents of these. And they were known as the Q345 and the Q346. I do have one of those, and I have put a video of that on the channel already, so I can put a link in the video description. What I would like to do in another video would be to get both of them on the wall at the same time so that we can have a look at both of them and that would make for a nice video I think because I don't think I've ever done that where we get the synchro powered one and the quartz driven one in the same video at the same time so do stay tuned for that and for now You've been watching a video on Sangamo Western S317.1.22 Rate Changer Time Switch.